So, in many ways, this is a follow-up to the Kimberly Click Clicky video that has gotten an amazing response, guys. <laughs> I mean, there is, some of you have just like, you know what? I'm simping. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm simping for this, man. I, I really am. And it's just like, all right, bro, I, I get it. I get it. It's me, fellas. See, that's the thing. A lot of uh, outsiders who people who are just, f you know, finding the channel don't really realize that this is a man's channel. Yes, I'm a, I'm a misogynist. I'm a chauvinist. I am all of those things. I, but most importantly, I'm honest with myself. And that's a reason why I do the whole, yeah, no pull out strokes, everything else like that. I make the comments that I make is because once you, as an individual, man or woman, remove whatever or or acknowledge whatever you know like i guess sexual um you know proclivities that you may have towards the individual that you're interacting with or you're dealing with it's you can make clearer and better decisions and better choices it's a big part of the reason why i do that so in the in the the clicky thing she said nothing I'm sorry. She said absolutely nothing that was a solution that was actually point that would actually point towards her knowing how to actually change this. She just it was a whole bunch of, hey, dims are bad. And un I, I, I get it <laughs> like we like like, OK, cool, great. But, oh, yeah, this is what they don't want you to see. And I'm going to walk these streets with this mean strut wearing this very tight dress. Just guys it, like like this is how they attack us. It's a subconscious thing. I really think that it is, particularly when it comes to women in form fitting clothes, particularly depending how good that form is. Um, yeah, we become very compliant, very compliant defensive even if you've ever seen that episode of south park where the girl where the girl babies you know chess came in and the boys just <clears throat> turned into turned into pure animals we we're going off of animal instincts you know <laughs> it uh yeah it, it was um very true to human nature to our biological imperatives i mean and so acknowledging that the devil comes in a tight dress, uh, it, it's it's a it's just it's been on the mind, and I felt hey yeah it's a good topic to make a interesting video on. You know, I am am am, am I wrong here? I mean, they all bad, right? I ain't gonna I ain't gonna do you wrong. I ain't gonna do you wrong. Trust me. But it also got me thinking on that topic as well because it's like hey yeah, instead of doing torture, why didn't we just send in send in bad chicks, right? <laughs> Like send her in, right? Send send her in to talk to um Al Sheikh Muhammad. You sitting there talking to the to the tough grizzly guy. Like, oh, you American scum! I would never. I, I don't care. The nukes. Will, don't ask me where this um accent is from. The nukes. The nukes. They they go anywhere. You American swine. You pig. Too. They go to explode. They promise you. And so the hero goes. Well, you know what? Okay, cool. Send her in. You know. Her, eh, not so much. Her, definitely. No, no, no. Her, okay. Send her in. She walks in, just smiles, sits across from. She's like, what, what, what is this? What's going on? She wafts a little bit of her perfume into his nose, like, oh, oh, oh. It's, it smells nice. It smells nice, you know. She, she climbs up, and she, she gets up, and she says, hey. Tell me where the nuke is. You can suck a titty. <laughs> he goes, oh, yeah, oh, 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 really? For, for, wait, no, 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 you Americans come. No, no. Two titties and I, need, and, I, and I get to take your panties with me. Deal. And the control room goes, <laughs> in the control room, everybody goes nuts. Yeah, woo. like, you know, USA, USA, USA. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But it's just. Oh man, I, the as men like it, it's a part like as humans. I think particularly when it's pleasing in such a way, you don't you're you're just you're putty, man. You're real putty. We all are. I am too. I do not absolve myself of any of the simpery energy I may inflect upon you guys, but 
It's like, yo, bad is bad. And instead of, and the deal is, is that if we acknowledge that that bad is bad and we put that aside, just like with the Kaliki thing, we won't be as distracted and we can focus on the fact that, yeah, solutions are necessary. You know, we can focus on the, the, the thing that got us all here in the first place, right? I mean, instead of just, oh, yeah, well, she dope. And it's like, golly. And women, I, I, I believe to an extent women realize it and women don't realize it. When I was uh, with working families, uh, we, there'd be these days that one of my coworkers would go to Trenton. And every time she went to Trenton, she would wear, she would wear just the, the, the tightest. Not, you know, not every time, but, but particularly like on lobby days and, 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 and when she had to be very persuasive, she threw on this dress that, I mean, off top, nah, she was not attractive at all. But when she threw that dress on, it's just like, damn, like, you know what? Yeah. Like if you've ever seen the movie, baby boy, <laughs> Like the male subconscious go, uh, just automatically goes, no matter how professional you are trying to be within the context of the moment, the back of your mind, you are dragging this chick across the room like Ving Rhames did old girl, like Hulk smash old girl and baby boy. That's exactly what the male, at least, because I can't speak for the woman. We're different. We're different things, but that's how the male mind is working. And that's why so many of us are just so quick to, you know, simp out in many ways and I, I don't knock it it is what it is how you conduct yourself despite having that biological imperative and, and that instinct that that will always speak more of you to me than you know like oh yeah you you, you find a chick attractive and, and you want to um and and you know you want to hey do the do that 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 instinctual link of provide and protect you know, and if and if it's in and, and that in that protection thing also includes her feelings. Boom. <laughs> and so in uh, in 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 a way, we are our own worst enemies because we want to we we never want to see her frown. We'd always want to see her smile, even though this one is barely smiling. She has a Karuchi Tran thing going on. But either way, I'm not commenting on the ladies. I'm just pointing it back to the whole uh, subconscious thing, back to the whole, you know, um, the, the the devil wears a tight dress deal is is that it's how we've really worked ourselves into this position where we've just given in given in given in given in like the welfare state that was a huge part of that was just given in you know the the perception of you know america's number one enemy heterosexual black men being you know these beasts and like the, having to protect uh you know sisters from us is a was a big part of the reason the welfare state was invented way back in the day before damn near any of us were born and so you know, they're like, oh, well, you know, they like, they're, oh, they're just oh, so poor. They're just they're, 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 like, we, we have to give them a chance. We have to give them something, you know, and projects were made and people were institutionalized in many ways. That's why, because a lot of people, a lot of folks are looking for direction. They're looking for, they, they can't find it from within. I mean, more folks than you would probably like to admit can't find direction from within. And so, you know, like when, let's say, a government entity comes to them and says, you have to do this or you have to do that. Oh, well, sir, yes, sir. I mean, without a, without a thought to, you know, their rights or anything else, or their, their rights or what, you know, what the what a grander implication would be there. There are there. We live in a NPC world, guys. We really do. I mean, it's a meme that I think's really dried out. But for the most part, you know, NPCs will just sit there and be like, she's an angel. <laughs> I got that comment. I got that comment with the on the click clicky video. And it's just like for real. Like, do you even you don't even really know this woman. You just know that she bad and she got a she got a nice she got a nice pair on her. You know? So it, and, hey, it's not hate. It really isn't. It's just acknowledging that and looking for something of substance. And that's where I, that's where I really feel that there's some, 
there's there's a big misconception because like honestly it wasn't even about her like that that my video that i did was about the ad you had been the likes of Ben Shapiro propping it up as, oh, we have this new star, even though the woman hadn't been elected yet. This feels like Stacey Abrams, but on but but in, in a tight red dress that Stacey Abrams definitely wouldn't have been able to. Pull. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, uh, whatever happened to that uh, movie that Melissa McCarthy and Olivia Spencer were doing about the big girl, about the big girl superheroes. Netflix is going to drop that that nasty cuties nonsense, but you can't drop that. What's going on? That's, that's, that's BS. It really is. But yeah, guys, so we're actually coming across the end of the little slideshow that I've prepared because, hey, visuals matter, too. And, you know, hey, hopefully I've been able to uh, ride. We, we've been able to ride it on out together. Right. Interesting phrasing, seeing who, who seeing who popped up. But, yeah, the last couple are just, uh, you know, a couple of couple of faves of your boy. Oh. <laughs> So, with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like to toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice, you want to get videos like this every single day, share it because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch you don't like. Aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Go get something from the Teespring store and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Um, yeah, it, it, like this is... It, ladies, I love I, I, we love you to no end. But there needs to be substance. There needs to be some real meat and potatoes on these things that everybody's calling powerful and, and so strong. This is the best political ad I've ever seen in my life. Like, you are a prisoner of the moment, my friend, plain and simple. And we do not do that here. So, <laughs> but if you disagree, that's what my comment section's for. Uh, I enjoy it. But if you disagree, please, like, hit me with some points, man. All right? Until the next one.